The most common problem with drugs is that they're not specific enough. If you deliver a drug that will tend to kill disease tissue, but almost all drugs have the tendency of also having the side effect of killing tissues that, that's not diseased. This is especially difficult if the diseased tissue looks a lot like the healthy tissue, which is the case for something like cancer. Well, what if I can take that tiny difference between the cancerous cell and the healthy cell and then try to use that to specifically deliver the therapeutic agent to only the disease cell? It seems like a, a very difficult set of tasks. You need to target the delivery capsule to a specific location, so it needs to be able to recognize a specific tel cell type. And then once it gets there, it needs to be able to deliver that drug to the cell, but not to any other cell around it. So can we build a nanostructure and actually efficiently get into the cell instead of relying solely on signaling from the outside? They're essentially the future of pharmaceuticals. Instead of a small chemical, you have a slightly larger molecule that has different functionalities that you can program to go where you want, to assemble, self-assemble into structures you want, to release things, provide readouts. The question is, if, if we want to be able to build any kind of structure that we want, then how do we do that? We decided to focus on a particular building material, which is DNA. You're able to use DNA as a biocompatible, biodegradable building material rather than its information content. The method's called DNA origami, but in fact, maybe it should be called DNA knitting, because you're really knitting a long strand of DNA into a flat surface. What we did was to extend this idea to solid three-dimensional structures by programming this sheet of DNA, accordion style, into a thicker structure. So for many applications, you need a more rigid material, so a more solid uh, building block is, is highly useful. If you have the ability to shape matter into exactly the right organization that you want, then you can make any kind of molecular device that you want. And now we're making ones that when they bind a cell, a one cell type, not another, they open up and trigger receptors that cause killing, for example, with cancer. So what we built is a clamshell-like device out of DNA. Basically, it's this nanoscale DNA barrel that can hold a drug payload on the inside and then is decorated with special DNA sequences on the outside that can recognize and target cancer cells. Getting something inside the DNA that won't come out except when it's close to the cell and then only go into the cell seems like a challenge. These, this is truly programmable. We have people that come from computer science who are developing com programming language that could be used with molecules to do what you want. So we're basically telling our pharmaceutical chemists to design drugs but we're tying one hand behind their backs. Most of the drugs that they design that in principle could cure the cell or kill off disease cells can't get into the cell. And so, effectively, they're useless from a therapeutic point of view. But if we can design some universal mechanism of delivering these drugs into cells, this would completely transform medicine.